Hello, and welcome to episode 3, Revenge of the Sith, Star Wars. I mean, yes, Star Wars. Revenge of the Sith! This game apparently got pretty poor reviews, or mediocre, but I think it's actually a great game, so, you know. I mean, bleh. as far as I know, there's nothing wrong with it. If you hold on a minute, let me just sync this. Okay, so let's start a new game here. Uh, Sith. Uh, well, I mean... Does it really matter? Not really. Whatever. Uh, put my own name in. Asshole. That's my favorite. Oh, well, whatever. Yeah, and there's my finished one. So, I will be 100 percent this. I'll getting all the secrets. I couldn't actually do this last time. I There's one... Like, the game will tell you when there's a secret nearby. I'll let you know when it happens. But I can't. Some rooms and they'll tell you. It's like, hey, there's a secret here. I like, I couldn't find it, so. Let's hope we can do it. Star Wars! Oh my god! That's my favorite. Uh, I was about to say movie, but then I was trying to think of another funny joke. Oh! I know what I was thinking of. From Resident Evil 4, Days of Our Lives, and he's just like the Barbie song girl song comes on, and the guy like stops. He's like, this is my favorite song. That's where I was going, and I completely ruined it! Wow! So here we just have the uh, credits, or the, the, the title text scroll from ripped word for word from Revenge of the Sith. Fun fact, before the movie came out in theaters, I rented this game and completely spoiled the whole movie for myself. Because this game came out first, I played through the whole thing, and it's pretty much beat for beat the movie. With minor alterations. Well, some major, some minor. But 99% the movie. If you play this game before the movie, uh, you've basically seen the entire movie, so that's what I did. I still really enjoyed the movie, though. I mean, apparently, it's, the movie is supposed to be shit, but um, I don't know where people get that idea from. I mean, like, I have, like, I'm not, a, I'm not a movie critic, so don't ask me, but my criteria for a movie is very simple. Was I entertained? Yes, no. Yes, movie was good. No, movie was not good. Or maybe, hell, maybe even if the no answer is not necessarily, like, a bad thing, maybe it's just not a movie for me, but I love Revenge of the Sith, and it is within my favorite of the Star Wars movies, because like, I, it just all comes together, it's such a great story. I guess I'll let you watch this. Well, have you noticed the shields are still up? Sorry, Master. I hope I don't get binged for all the smoothie clips from this game, but you know, uh, that's gonna suck if that happens, but whatever. I guess we'll have to roll with it. Uh. But yeah, they actually ripped real movie clips from the movie before the movie even came out in theaters. So, kind of interesting. And here, the first level is actually gonna be the hangar. This game is a very monotonous game. It's pretty, like, it gets boring pretty quick, but it's a lot of fun. Like, you can block, you know, you got sabers, combat, you can jump. Force jumps. There's a whole bunch of stuff you could do in this game. I. Okay, so there's. I'm just checking for secrets here. Uh, you can pick stuff up, throw them into each other. Like for example, the droids throw them into the, expl the exploding canisters. Red bar health, blue bar, light blue bar, force power. Pull the L button to block lasers and other lightsabers. You want to be pretty much always holding this to reduce damage take. And, um, yeah. I'm just checking for secrets here. There's like, you got lots of stuff. You can air attacks. Even like a dash attack. I don't know how to do the dash. Oh, yeah, double tap to dash. You use force power. And you get extra attacks. There's health right there. Back to tanks. Much better. Yeah, thanks. I also got four. Use the black button for four stun. Works on people and droids. Um, uh oh, super battle droid! Watch out! Uh, white button. Throw your lightsaber. I don't like this move that often, so I won't be using it. Just press R directly for force. Push, hold for force. Throw. Uh, grip. Don't need that. But also, there's a combo system in the game. The more points you rack up, the more experience you get at the end, I think. I don't remember, but I'm pretty sure that's how it works. 
Tell me something I don't know. Scrap metal. Tell me something I don't know. Thanks, Anakin. Thanks. You're real helpful, you know that? What's going on? What's going on? You want me some help? Here you go. Oh, I'm gonna throw it into him. Um, KR2, you know, instead of us having to sit here blast droids, maybe you could... It doesn't take you this long in the movies, man! What's going on? Also, if you do take damage, click the both thumbsticks together to force heal. It takes up a lot of force power, but if you're patient enough, you can get back to full health no matter what. It's just very monotonous and a little annoying, but some stages are kind of tough and you actually might need to do it. At least I remember doing that, especially Mustafar. Because some of the enemies in this game get very dickish. Right now, you're just slashing the weakest of the weak enemies in the game, but... Nice work, like, team. even Super Battle Joints are nothing, but there's upgraded Super Battle Joints later, which suck anus, and we will be meeting them, uh, I think, on Magito for the first time. No, not Magito, Utapau. Mm. Yeah. Uh, the plan, Obi-Wan goes by himself to find the leaders of CIS in the movie. Uh, in your face, why not? You yeah, see, even the, they're so weak that even their own blaster bolts will kill them, which you might say, well, duh, but, you know... Most enemies don't have that happen to them. Yeah, I know, but where environment? I'm just looking for fucking power up or secrets, man. We must use. Oh, and you'll get these prompts where you pr prompts prompts where you have to help. This debris is too Your partner heavy. character, you just stand there and hold the button. It tells you to and get the nice cutscene, indicating that you have done well, Lord Vader. And hey, I am Lord Vader. Not quite, not quite yet, but pretty soon. Spoilers. But, I mean, the movie came out in 2004, also, we've known this since The Return of the Jedi, which came out in, like, what, 85, 86? So, you know, um, you've had plenty of time to watch, and if you're watching this Let's Play, I assume you've already seen the movie and or are familiar with Star Wars to some degree, so that won't come to as a shock to you. Spoilers, Darth Vader is Luke Skywalker's dead. Uh, Oops, sorry, but I could give a Force Awakens spoiler, but, you know, I mean, that movie's been out for a year, but it's only been a year, so I won't. Just in case you were one of the few who hasn't seen it yet, so I will not. I will refrain from saying that. Actually, if Rogue One comes out um, in a few weeks here, it's December 8th, 2016, today. And, um, yeah, I'm not really looking forward to the movie, honestly. I don't know. I mean, I barely even looked at the trailer. I saw one trailer in theaters. I thought. I could barely even tell it was a Star Wars movie until, like, halfway through when I saw the X Wing, and I was like, oh, Star Wars, okay. But. I mean, I'll go see it. I'm a huge Star Wars fan, so I will. Top five. The whole series of movies is my top five. My top five movies of all time, so. I also. One thing I miss about the Xbox PS2 GameCube generation is that there was a million Star Wars games. Like, I got, like, maybe 30, a little bit over 30 original Xbox games. Very underrated console, in my opinion. I mean, I know the PS2 GameCube has all the same games, and the Xbox doesn't have very many exclusives, but. I was an Xbox slash Nintendo kid growing up. And Game GameCube for all my Nintendo games, and Xbox for all my exclusives, plus PS2 third party games like Grand Theft Auto and Star Wars games. We need to access that control console. So you guys may recognize this game for being on the PS2, I do for being on the Xbox. And personally, I like the Xbox controller more than the PS2 controller. I like the GameCube no controller the best, no. except for first-person first shooters, in which I prefer oh, Xbox it's... overall. So... But... I'm just checking for... You just kind of destroy stuff, and then... Usually, like, he'll tell you, like, oh, I, I sense something, or there's a disturbance in the forest, or... Something like that, you know. But oh, wait! I did find one. See, max force power increase. As you can see, my bar is slightly over my health there, which means I just got a little extra force power. So these secrets are very useful, and you want them. That one's got a sniper. All of them got a sniper. I could use your help here. Why don't you just reflect their lasers back at them like you? Uh, you know what? Whatever. Retard. Uh oh. Not the super battle droids. These droids aren't getting any smarter. Sure they are. There's a way to like. There's actually a way to cheese stuff as Anakin. I found out. I'll sh. Force jump. Specifically from here, nowhere else, or it won't work. Sorry. That's how the force works. That's not how the force works. 
Well, apparently it is. Huh. I like how he's like, I can use some help here, when he could have just jumped himself. But he's just like, apparently that uses a little bit of force power too, so. Even though it's scripted, you know. Oh. Come on, die. Bye, 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 bye. I'm saying bye, not die. Oopsies. Bam. Come on. Ah, I'm trying to do that grab. I'm trying to grab it, but... I like how I have to jump. Force jump down there. I can't just jump. I also like how the force apparently protects from gravity. But, you know, whatever. Or, well... Yeah, it would be. Oh my... What am I thinking? I don't know, but... Ah, yes, but yes, Star Wars, uh, this movie, I don't know why, I mean, I know everyone says this is the best of the prequels of the movies, but for me, it's actually one of the best Star Wars. I don't actually have a favorite Star Wars, as a kid, it was Return of the Jedi, which, as I, everyone knows, apparently Return of the Jedi is the worst of the original trilogy, for some reason. I mean, oh no, Ewoks, you know, these little teddy bears are apparently super, like, strong, and I'm like, well, I mean, they're about the size of chimpanzees, have you seen how powerful a chimpanzee is? Like, it's... Not out of the question. Plus, my argument for that part of the movie in Return of the Jedi is like, they're 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 a camouflage where the stormtroopers you can see like, nice job, way one, clear as day. So it's easy for the plus the Ewoks have time to set up, to observe and figure out what the stormtroopers are up to, so they could, you know, they guerrilla tactics basically is what they employed through the movie. So you can see through the movie that. They were able to kind of hold their own against the Stormtroopers, but they kind of needed the Rebels' help. Not to mention, you know, the destruction of the Death Star is pretty much how they won. But if you actually watch the movie, you'll see the Stormtroopers are fighting back pretty well. Like, the ATSTs are really screwing over the Ewoks. Not like the Stormtroopers couldn't do it, it's just that they had a million other things to think about. And like I said... They were, they weren't just fun, like, you got, like, one legion, like, like, I think it says, the Emperor says an entire legion, but it's like, so you got one legion of Stormtroopers versus, what, how many Ewoks, let's assume, like, at least a couple million, versus how many, like, I don't know, like, maybe a couple, like, thousand at the most, I don't know how much a legion is, I'm sure I could look it up, but not right now, I found one secret, okay, I'm gonna have to go back and get those later at the end of the game, anyway, so you can put, some of your experience into stuff. I'm actually gonna put it all right now into stun, and that's for a reason later, which is kind of spoilers, I guess. So, and there's also other stuff you could do here. Yes, yeah, so I finished upgrading. We'll do one more level for the first level for the first one. Don't need to read that because it scrolls ridiculously slow, and I'm not gonna sit there and wait. You know, I figure that's not a very hard prediction, but whatever. Fun fact for you, this is a deleted scene from the movie. Go watch the deleted scenes on their DVD, and you'll see this. Except for this guy. This is a new Super Battle Joint. He's not in the scene. I'm not worried. This will be no problem. Did I say I was worried? God damn it. Okay, the delayed audio is bogging me because whenever Anakin speaks, because of delayed audio, Obi-Wan starts speaking. So, like, Obi-Wan will be moving his mouth and I'll hear Anakin's voice and then it'll swap back and forth. So, it's like they're opposite. Now we got Anakin and Obi-Wan's voices swapped on my screen. It'll be fine in the actual video, but it's like, damn it. Yeah, this is. Now you're playing as Obi-Wan. Oh, it's X and Y, okay. Ugh. Oh, I guess I threw him into the thing. But, yeah, as you can see, they can actually block your saber strikes, because they are uh, more powerful. But these ones are not the most powerful. Different characters have slightly different moves. Can I, like, do an actual attack or something while grappling? Or can I just throw them? Whatever. Boom, there we go. That's kind of the best way to stash them, is just use the heavy attack and stab, or slash as Anakin. Because it just seems to get through their defenses a lot easier. Alternatively, you could also force stun them, and then just smack them, and then they can't do a thing about it. So, keep an eye on that blaster fire. I sense danger. Watch those grapple droids. Okay, I think, 
I think there's a secret here because he said he sensed something. Yeah, see, he tells you how to force your heal here. here. Can I, like, destroy this shit or something? Sorry, I just... I can look this all up. I'm gonna do that next time. We're gonna come back and grab these secrets quickly. I'm not gonna play through the whole stage again. I'm just gonna show you where they are and then cut back to whatever. But that'll be next episode because we're gonna... I'm not exactly prepared here, so... Okay, this guy pisses me off, so let's just get rid of him. There we go. Hey, I got experience for... I wonder if... It, was there a difficulty setting? I don't think so. I was gonna say, I would've picked the hardest difficulty just for a challenge. I mean, this game is not exactly easy, but it's not exactly hard either. I mean, I wouldn't say it's medium, I don't know. Oh, I gotta save it though, okay. Well, try your lightsaber. Gee, thanks, Seneca. You want to try Somersault, too? Hmm. Oh, I didn't finish my thing. Yeah, okay, Return of the Jedi is what used to be my favorite as a kid. It alternated between A New Hope and Return of the Jedi as a kid. And, uh... And whenever the new prequel came out, that was my new favorite. Episode 1, then Episode 2, then Episode 3 was my favorite for a long time. But I don't have a favorite anymore. I like them all. And weirdly enough, it was never Empire, which is everyone else's favorite. But honestly, I've... After rewatching them all multiple times, I've gone to appreciate Empire a lot more, and I can totally see why everyone thinks. Okay, fuck off, you fucking bitch. Fuck. I'm a Jedi. Like, screw off. Anyways, uh, it's, uh. I can appreciate them a lot more, so my. If I had to pick a favorite, like, I don't know, I don't really have a favorite, so it's like. I like them all. I think my least favorite would be clones, but I don't think clones is terrible, because you think, oh yeah, what about the Pav, the Anakin love scenes? But it's like, you know what? If you actually rewatch the movie, they're not that long. It actually always cuts back to the more interesting Obi Wan parts where he goes with, you know, to Kamino. He's fighting with Jango Fett on Geonosis and shit like that, or in the asteroid belt above Geonosis. It's actually kind of cool. And then you got the final battle at the end, which was pretty sweet. Not the best battle, and it's kind of an anticlimactic end actually. But uh, and then of course, Revenge of the Sith was like, oh, like it's still. For me, for sure, by far, the Revenge of the Sith is the best of the prequels, and is actually one of my favorites. Like I said, okay, my three favorites, if I had to pick, I couldn't pick, like, one, so I'll pick three. It would be a, probably between Revenge of the Sith, Empire, and A New Hope, I think, would be. Those three are my favorites, and I can't exactly pick one out of those, so. Oh no! How many times have we seen that scene in movies, games, everything? Cliché. <laughs> Ding. Someone jumps through an elevator and gets a cut in half. Cliche. Ding. I'm trying to get that ding from Simpsons. Oh no, not the blasters. Oh, I hate these things. You gotta sit here and just wait for the damn thing to shoot. And sometimes they just don't reflect. Yeah. I guess it's not too bad, but... Okay, dude. You know what? Nuh-uh. You fucking... Get out of here, fucking... You're not... You're not Zangief. You're fucking a battle droid. Okay, you know what? I'm trying to do a freaking air attack. Oh, there we go. When they're on the ground, you can kind of stab them when they're down like this. Okay, dude, seriously? Come on, it's a lightsaber. It shouldn't be that hard. These blasted oh, 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 oh. These blasted droids. Gee, thanks. Okay, so we got two ways. I'm gonna go down first. I think you actually have to. Just give me secrets, give me secrets, give me secrets. Ah. We can't go this way. Max force increase. The force is with me. It's just like in the uh, stupid uh in the uh the Famicom version of Star Wars is like Luke, choose the force. It's like what? Oh, yeah, actually we have to go down here. It's not really secret, is it? If they force you to get it. Um, am I supposed to hit that? It kind of just locks on. Ah, fine, whatever. Woo! Alright, let's go. Boom. Boom, I said, I was about to say boom, buh, buh, I don't know, whatever. But, I don't know, like, people, like, you know, for me as a kid, I loved all the Star Wars movies, prequels too and everything, and then I grew up and I found out people hated the prequels. I was shocked, I was like, huh? Like, I was a huge Star Wars fan for all of the media, the books, games, everything, and I'm just like, wait, people didn't like the prequels? I'm just like, huh? And then it was like, okay, you just like the original trilogy. And eventually I, you know, watched the Red Letter Medias, I watched it. Honestly, I think you could do that for any movie, but I see some of their points. It's, they're not the best movies, some of the dialogue is really like, uh, I mean, we've all got the, uh, 
examples there. We don't really need to repeat them again. Oh, okay. Okay, here we go. But I think all in all, they're pretty decent movies. Especially Revenge of the Sith is a really good movie. It's one of my favorites of all time. So. And coincidentally, that's what we're playing right now. It's probably the most action-packed Star Wars. It has the most depressing end. But it's so perfect. Like, I don't know. I, I really like it. I mean, yeah, there's a whole Darth Vader, no, but you know, whatever. That's one, one minor blip in a ex otherwise excellent movie, in my opinion. Stay down. And you know what? Everyone says anyone who grew up with the original Star Wars would not like the prequels. Well, I grew up with the originals. I was watched, I watched them all multiple, multiple times before the first one even came to theaters, Phantom Menace, so. And you know what? My mom, who was born in, I believe, 59, also saw saw the original Star Wars all in theaters, so she was a fan. That's why I'm a fan, because you know she had them. I even watched the originals on the VHS, like before the digital like remaster Try ones. And uh, and then you just yeah, and uh, so I watched all the the original, original, and the like the Greedo shot or hand sh hound shot first shit, and. You know, I watched them all, so I mean, I feel like my opinion should be valid. Anyways, my mom, so she watched them all, the originals, in theaters, but hey, guess what? She likes the prequels. How is that possible, huh? I thought apparently you're not supposed to like the prequels if you, uh, if, if you, if you watch the original. But I even told my mom recently, actually, I was like, hey, I asked my mom, I was like, so what do you really think about the prequels, the Star Wars? She said, oh, I, I love them, they're Star Wars, like, they're great. And I said, really? I said, but you watch the originals in theaters, right? She said, yeah. And I'm like, you're supposed to hate them. She's like, why? And it's like, well, because apparently they're bad movies. And she was just like, huh? Like, she was confused. Like, what? Who says they're bad movies? And I'm like, everyone. And she's like, she's like, she said she never came across another Star Wars fan who disliked the prequels in her life. So, take that as you will. Man, I gotta be careful. I'm actually gonna die. Oh, shut up, boy. <laughs> Oh look, I found a secret. Oh, and it whenever you see that green like oh, circuit board shit, just destroy it. But that's how it goes. Yeah, see I I don't know man, like that's that's just me and my mom. I mean we've I read all the books. Well most of the books. A lot of the earlier ones. And that's just how it is, man. It's just I don't know, man. Some people just have to hate. I, I think the whole prequel hate, because the internet has blown up proportion, I think some people just thought it was they were mediocre or not as good. And then eventually everyone's like, no, you have to hate them straight up. So, you know, everyone's like, oh, yeah, fucking Jar Jar, fucking prequels, sand, ah, ha, ha, it's so rough and coarse, uh, blah, 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 blah. Or I got the high ground, or, you know, or, you know, uh, from my point of view, the Jedi really, they got all those quotes that everyone likes to repeat as, like, the absolute worst, shittiest movie ever made. And it's like... People just take this shit to extremes. No one can just have, like, a middle-of-the-road opinion. It's always, like, you either love them or you fucking hate them. You know? Do you want this one, or should I take it? By all means, Anakin. Help yourself. Okay. Uh, well, too bad. I'm just gonna slash it anyway. stop us, do they? Droids aren't known for their brain. Aha! I found a secret! I think that makes your lightsaber uh, do a little more damage. I think I found three secrets. I think there's three secrets every stage. I think that's all of them. I think I got them all. So that's good. I think we should just go. We can just go then. Fuck off, man. You know, I just immediately were reminded of Eggman in Sonic Adventure. Take this! Take this! Take this! Take this! No, that was Sonic Heroes. All right, yeah, yeah, it's the egg emperor. When he's slashing up and down, up vertically and horizontally. Um, okay, dude. Oh, you made me lose my master fall, you fuckers. Oh, God. Okay, so we haven't even gotten to the worst enemies in the game yet. I just realized, well, obviously we're on the second stage, but I was thinking about droids, I'll take out these droids, and then I was like, oh, yeah, there's that one droid that's probably the worst en enemy in the game. And I was like, oh, no, never mind. But they're not even in the movies, so you'll see them when you get there. I'll point them out in case. I'm sure everyone knows what I'm talking about, though. I don't suppose well, we should not. I mean, maybe not. Maybe everyone's got a different opinion on the worst Put enemy, but metal down. I'll tell you which one's mine when we get there. That's not until at least... I don't know, three quarters to the game. Maybe a little less than that. Oh no, my lightsaber! Oh! Ding! <laughs> almost, ding, almost gets caught in the door, cliche. Uh, Just what I need. Oh, fuck this shit. Oh, oh, <laughs> dude, 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 really? 
Okay, dude. I was like, that's not fair. You're blocking onto this fucking bitch. Okay, come on. Thank you. This this is really annoying. This is a pretty easy, shitty part of the game where you have to do this shit. Yeah, I'm just gonna go over here that way. Thank you. There we go. That's how you do it. Okay, you know what? Uh, I'm just gonna do this because I really don't feel like fucking with that guy right now. Alright, hit the button. Alright, let's move on. Whoa! Oh boy. I'm not another one. Come on, dude. We just had one of these. Are you, did you really read that? Did you think this was clever? Did you think this was cool? Like, man, we really gotta have this segment in the game. That was really like this part. Uh, you, you literally just stand here and wait. And wait. This reminds you of that seat at that level in uh, at the, 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 the San Andreas. You only had to do was follow the damn train seat Uh. But. The reason why is because, you know, the bullets being shot at bodies, but nothing happening, like, no physical impact. That's kind of where I'm getting that from. Dude, what the fuck? You just, like, visually, like, visually, like, literally just, like, blah, out of nowhere. Okay, dude, seriously. Ugh, come on, Obi-Wan. Can't you, like, stab them after you do that or something? Thank you. Come on, dude, don't give me another one. Okay, I'm out of there. I'm not gonna deal with you right now. Screw off. Dude, I was gonna say, how long does it take to stun a freaking droid? Bam. I wish I had destroyed droid from Knights of the Republic. I will just annihilate him. Uh. Oh, come on, man. I just want to kill you. I just want to kill you, man. Is that so hard to ask? Here, come here. I hate these stupid... <laughs> Ah! There's gotta be a better way to do this shit, man. Oh, I didn't even notice there was something there. Okay, you know what? I'm trying to get... Thank you. That. I'm trying to look at him so I can just... Uh, there. Perfect. Dead. Get out of here. I don't think so. Another one. Thank you. He's dead. Wait, is, there, is that all the secrets? Or is there one secret? Nope. You know what? I think they'd have a lot harder time if they were fighting Liquid Jail Terminator from T2. Could a Jedi even defeat that thing? I mean, that'd be hard, wouldn't it? Like, what the fuck would a Jedi even do in that situation? The force is strong here. Uh, oh, is there a secret here? Okay, maybe there's more secrets in some stages. I thought I already got three. Yeah, okay, there we go. I got another max health one. Alright, good. I was like looking at that. I was like, nothing over there. Didn't think so. Alright. Uh... Okay, Anakin, you just sit there and wait. Don't press the button already so we can already have the damn thing out. You just gotta sit there and be like, oh yeah, baby. This makes sense to you. Get out of here, you down. dickwad. Stay down. This whole place is coming. Stay down! Uh, that's kind of what you don't want to happen when you're currently in it. <laughs> These things are so annoying. I, I don't even have a good strategy for them. Other than stunning them. Okay, dude. Get out of here! Get out! Uh. Yeah, those things suck too. Alright, let's get these things out of here. Scrap metal! See, like, you can't even wait to really counter, because, like, it's like, okay, he attacked, now count, oh, oh that, that worked this time. Because oh. sometimes they'll just, like, immediately go back into blocking. Watch okay, yourself. that's kind of working. Alright, well, it did work. Come on. Get out of here. There we go, he's out of here. Alright, let's go. Oh, jeez, I was like, there's another one! Oh, cutscene, too late. The power of the cutscene saves us. That joy never existed. That was a Rattler 2 reference. <laughs> Alright, I think that was the end of the level. Man, I forgot how fun this game is. Like, I'm, I'm legitimately enjoying myself here. Oh, man. Okay, well, I guess we have a longer first episode here.
I was gonna say, you know, we just skip that. Yeah, I found all the secrets. Look at that. Oh, look, five constant burn images. Oh, I unlocked a challenge mission. Oh, yeah. Uh, don't need force done here. Let's put some into force grasp. You know what? Let's just max out force grasp as we can. And then we'll do force. I'm uh, no, sorry, not force grip, force grasp! Jesus. Alright, well, you know what? Good enough. Alright, well, and that's everything. Join us next time for the next scene in the movie, Peril in the Elevators, even though the previous level was actually a deleted scene. So, that's like I said, it's not all just the movie. There is some new content. Uh, join me next time, and let's play Revenge of the Sith. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.